what is happening everyone and welcome to my after effects tutorial in this episode i'm going to show you how to get started with fairn an excellent tracking plugin from fairtech for working on your own projects so what you see right now on the screen is what i will be showing you today so getting started with the tutorial awesome people if you have installed fairn onto your machine you can go to window and take this option fairn right here now instead of having this uh, window float around on your interface it's a lot better to tuck this in somewhere and I like to keep it over here with all my other main commands and the reason why I'm telling you this is because this is a place where you'll be coming often if you're working on some tracking projects. Now come to your main composition, select your video file, go to effect, take Fatec and fade. Now once you apply the fade effect to your video file, you'll see that there's an update in your fade window and you'll see that your main composition name is being shown here. Right now select it hit the add track button for getting started with your tracking and this is going to bring up another dialog box and this awesome people is a place where the actual magic happens. Now the first two settings here awesome people are basically going to help you decide which part of the video you want to track. Now sometimes you don't want to select the entire video file for tracking you only want to track the first two seconds or the middle four seconds or the last two seconds or something like that you don't want to track the entire video. So what you can do is you can take a CTI over there click on this first option go to the end part click on the second option and only the in between of those two options is going to get tracked this is going to help you shorten the time of tracking and this is going to help create less keyframes for you to work with now in the tutorials case i'm going to select my whole video file so i'm not going to do anything in these settings the next awesome people is to basically decide how you want to track your subject now let me take this and show you guys something this is something that looks a lot like four point tracking and this awesome people can be used for doing some wall replacements screen replacements but in the tutorials case awesome people i'm going to take the paintbrush tool or the mask region tracker and this is basically going to be like a painting the thing you want to track and fay in is going to track that so i'm going to hold on the shift key and i'm going to paint over this cloud for it to be tracked and next awesome people is to decide what kind of area you want to track this is basically saying is your subject moving a lot in the video so as you can see that the clouds are not moving that much right so i'm going to take my static option right here if your subject is moving a lot in the video like if you have a box and the box is being picked up by someone kept on a different location you can take the dynamic area track but i'm going to take the static track and don't worry about all these different settings just make sure that you get the first three right and click on start and as soon as you do that you'll see that the tracking begins and i'm going to speed up the video a little bit and i'm going to come to the part where the tracking is over now once the tracking is over awesome people you'll see that there is a new solid created into your scene and you can also see this in your composition panel and now if i was to preview this you can see that yes indeed this shot has been tracked in quite nicely. Now the thing that I really like about Fein is the replacing mechanism that they have in their plugin. So what I can do is that instead of bringing this thing that I want to replace a solid with into my timeline attaching it to the null object or parenting it to the solid, you can just go to the Fein panel, do a right click on your Fein folder exchange insert footage and take the thing that you want to replace a solid with in my case i'm going to take my graphic file and this is going to ask you what about the ratio do you want to uh, take the ratio of the solid or do you want to maintain the ratio of your graphic file i'm going to maintain my ratio so i'm going to click yes and you'll see awesome people that my graphic has been replaced this is in my opinion difficult to do with other tracking systems and Fatec makes this very very easy. Now in order for this to blend in a little bit better I'm gonna go to FX and presets type in Luma key apply it to my graphic really quick and do some basic adjustments. Now the thing that I really like about Fain is that it's very easy to kind of scale up the graphic move it around and basically have your creative freedom. So if I select my graphic file select the fade in effect over here i can scale this graphic up i can move it around maintaining my track so i can move it over here i can rotate it if i want 
remove it right there and now awesome people if i was to play the video you'll see that this is still being tracked in place without any difficulties and this in my opinion awesome people is really really cool now if you are having a graphic that you're trying to track onto a wall or if you're doing some screen replacements what you can do is you can also use the appearance panel over here you can take the white point and the black point and try to blend it in by picking up the color from your uh, the surroundings but in this case it's a lot better if i was to just change the blend mode so if i change this to overlay you'll see that this blends in a little bit better with the scene now, if i was to play this awesome people you'll see that this indeed has been tracked in. So this is what I love about Faye and Awesome People. The tracking mechanism is superb. You get the creative freedom of sort of moving things around, seeing what works best. And this, in my opinion, doesn't happen in other tracking plugins. And that awesome people is how you get started working with Fain. I'm going to be soon uploading more tutorials in which I'm going to cover some advanced features and advanced options that Fain has. And I'm going to show you how to work with some more realistic shots like having to create some wall graphics, adding logos to some walls and doing all of that. So my name is CJ Style. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Take care everybody.